Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video to show you how to draw this uh, bird house, but to do it in 2D and then to convert it into 3D as well. So to start with, we're going to start a new drawing. And the first command we're going to use is the polygon command. So I'm going to click on the polygon command and then you must check your command line. The first question it asks is how many sides do, do you need? So for this case, we're going to need five sides. So I'm going to type five enter. Then I'm going to click where this is going to start. Then I must um, specify if I want it inscribed or circumscribed. Um, all this means is do you want to go to a point or a side of this polygon? So I'm going to keep it inscribed, just hit enter. And I'm going to drag it up. Um, you can size this as big as you want. I'm just going to keep it, let's say, 20. So that means the radius of the circle that inscribed this was 20. So from here on, I'm going to um, just stretch this polygon because I don't want the sides to stick out that far. So this is just an example of what the finished product will look like. So as you can see, it's not a perfect five-side polygon. You can see I stretched it a bit. So I'm going to move to my new drawing and just stretch this. So I'm going to click the corner or select the corner, cutting two of the lines. And they hit S, Enter for stretch. Just going to stretch it to the side, let's say 1.5. And the other side as well, 1.5. And that shape looks much more like a bird after me than the previous one. So firstly, I'm going to copy this. CO enter. Then I'm copy it off to the side. So that's going to be my front. This one is going to be my front. This is going to be the back. And this is what I'm going to use to draw the sides, the third one. So to start with, the birdhouse needs an uh, entrance. So I'm just going to click on the circle command or hit C, enter, go to the center line and anywhere that you'd like, you can draw an entrance for your birdhouse. So secondly, you need a stick for them to land on. So circle again or C, enter, hit your center point and draw what's going to become a stick for the birds to land on. So the back plane, we're just going to leave like that. It's going to be blank. And then to get the sides. So first you have to decide, are your sides going to stick over the sides of your house? Let's say, for instance, like the roof, it's going to stick over. So we need to um, offset this to the outside to make it bigger than our two panels. So I'm going to go to the offset command, which you find in the modified tab. Then I'm going to offset this by one, 1.25 That the thickness of the wood. And as you can see, it offset the whole thing because this is still a block. So next, what you can do is you can select both of these. Hit X, Enter to explode it. So now you have individual lines. So for the bottom, we're just going to need this panel. So I'm going to extend this with E, X. Enter, I'm going to extend this line and extend this line. So we, there we have a panel that fits in between these two. And next, I want to extend the roof because the roof is going to hang over a bit. So I'm going to draw a line as far as I want this to hang over. And then I'm going to select the line. I'm going to modify, mirror, and mirror to the other side. So now I can hit... E, X, Enter again to extend these lines. And that's going to be the root. So I'm going to trim away these parts. And that's all you need, all the panels that you need. So the next part is to give this dimension or thickness uh, or convert it to 3D. So I'm going to hold down the Shift button and the mouse wheel and rotate by just dragging to the side. So I'm going to use the press pull command. 
I know a lot of people like to use extrude, but the press pull commands work better for me because you can select the island inside and just press and pull. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to make the thickness 1.25. Same with the back panel, 1.25. And then we're going to start the walls, but you have to decide beforehand the deepness of the, the birdhouse. So I'm going to make mine, let's say, 10 millimeters to start with. And as you can see, it's not deep enough. So I'm going to try again. Just you enter for undo. RE to regenerate the viewport. And I'm going to go press pull 1.25. Again, 1.25. Now I'm going to make it, let's say, 30. So that looks much better, maybe a bit too much. So I'm going to delete that and try one last time. Let's make it 25. And the bottom panel as well, 25. And the side panel, 25. So the roof is going to hang over a bit. As in the example, you can see it's hanging over a bit. So I'm going to make the overhang, I'm going to make it two millimeters. So then I can say press pull up to there and then press pull again by four because we're going to move it back two millimeters. So I select the roof and say M enter for move, click anywhere. Make sure it's snapped to the Z X and move it down two millimeters. So all that remains is the peg that birds have to land on. So I'm going to get press pull and I'm going to make it 10. So the last step is to piece everything together. So I'm going to start with the back panel. I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit move in the modify tab. I'm click a uh, point on the back panel and move it to some point that I know should be on this side. And same with the front panel, but I have to select the peg as well. CO, or I'm not going to copy, move, enter. And I know this point is also on your birdhouse. So the birdhouse is assembled now. Now we can select everything with the blue selection, all the lines and delete them. And we're going to select the birdhouse, rotate it on the red axis. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees and just move the house to the plane that we're working on at the moment. So there you can see the finished product. If you want to see it in 3D view, you just go there and select realistic and there's your birdhouse. I see the back panel is missing. So let's just go back a few steps. So I deleted the back panel with the lines as well. So I'm going to be more careful to not select that back panel. As you can see with the blue, everything that's inside of the blue square, it selects and everything it touches, it doesn't select. So there you can see the back panel is still there. Now we can select, rotate the red axis 90 degrees. I'm just going to get a line on this plane we're working on and move the corner to that line. So now I can switch to realistic view and now you see a completed birdhouse. So I hope you learned something from this video and any questions you have, could you please post to me and I'll answer them. Um, I hope this video helped you. I hope this will improve some of your AutoCAD skills and hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.